What's up, my pylons? I'm Gamer, Gamer Pile, and welcome to a first look for the new game Space Haven by Bugbite. With a Y, Bugbite. This is an early alpha version of Space Haven. Many of the big features are still missing, and content is limited, so we're going to keep that in mind. We're running Alpha 9 currently. As it updates, I will update you, of course, and let you know which version we're playing on. Uh, you will likely find some odd things happening and bugs that are not aliens. No worries. You can tell us about them. You can use the built-in cloud system to send us feedback. I like that. That's one good thing about uh, this particular... When you play an alpha, I mean, the devs want to know what's going wrong. But it's nice that they're using the built-in system directly so you can submit those bugs right away. We are going to take a look at this game. It's pretty darn new. I believe it came out in May. It is a sim builder, space-based uh, ship-oriented sci-fi futuristic game, survival game. So think uh, RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. Think Stardew Valley. Um, there seem to be some elements of the very classic game Space or Escape Velocity, which I'm super excited about. Uh, but we'll take a look in a little bit here. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, I like the HUD. That was a nice song playing in the background. All right, we're going to turn it up a little bit. I want to make sure I can hear it inside my earphones. Okay, well, let's take a look here. We are on Alpha 9. So the uh, opening title screen is a little... Uh, Oh, it's got some harmonies. Uh, a little, uh, a little bit Enya to me, or maybe like, uh, like an anime. You know, I'm getting a little anime vibe from this, which I'm okay with. Uh, is that it? That seems a little short. I think if I were doing a title song, I would probably want it to be a little bit longer. People usually click through pretty quickly when they load in, but every once in a while, I mean, you want to see what's going on, or you want to mess with the options. Uh, let's take a look here. Sound and music. We have those about where we want them set. I might move that up just a tick. Uh, cool. We are not colorblind. We do want to send a crash report. That'll help them out and makes the game better. Good resolution here. We're going to do some gameplay. Okay. All right, so here are our key bindings. Oh, WSAD. So it is, or WASD, I should say. That's good for screen. We're going to drag the map with mouse two or three. Scroll wheel zooms. All right, good. I like that. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, edge scroll speed down just a hair. Let's put it at seven, see how that works. Uh, cloud. So, okay, we could upload to the cloud if we wanted to. Join the discussion. Excellent. Oh, they have Discord, Insta, Reddit, Twitter, mailing list. I might I might add them on Twitter. Oh, okay, so here we go. These are the patch notes. These are the new things for Alpha 9. We now have environmental hazards implemented, solar flares, micro meteoroids, nebulae, and siren worlds. I don't know what a siren world is, but it sounds alluring. Uh, new faction interactions, signaling, NPC hailing, distress state, and refugees. That's exciting. Cool. Signaling allows spaceships, that's what this was, okay, uh, to communicate simple intents directly, like we want to communicate, we want to surrender, we want to establish a ceasefire and communicate. Okay, awesome. Distress state, turn a distress beacon, call for help, refugees, new character status, in addition to the prisoner status, save crew members from destroyed spaceships who are looking to be reunited with their faction. Oh, okay, so th that's cool. There seem to be factions involved. I like that because then you can hopefully interact with those factions and, and either make them your enemies or make them your allies. Suspicion, a new faction status, whereby another faction can be suspicious toward you. Implemented a lot of new communication dialogue. NBC spaceships now signal and hail the player at times. Oh, they instigate communication. That's really exciting. Player can now try to lie in certain dialogue. Oh, we can lie. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so the song's on repeat. It's the third time we've heard it here. NPC factions can now help each other. Solar flares, micrometeorites, micro breaches. Siren worlds. Okay, peculiar planets whose strange signals mess with the mind. So it is alluring. It's well named. Very, Oedip uh, not Oedipal, Odyssean. Very full of Odyssey. Okay, so here's Bugbite. So uh, this is uh, Alan and Axel Junkila. I hope I got those correct. And Maddie Van Halla. 
Paul Zimmerman wrote the music and did the sounds. Scalefin were the lyrics and vocals, so that must be who's singing right now. Thank you, Scalefin. It's very it is a beautiful voice. And then a lot of different languages. Wow. And we are barely scratching the surface. We're not going to be reading all those. <laughs> but let's do a new game. Okay. Uh, I do like the HUD. I like the clean blue lines, the teal lines here. I like how everything is nice uh, white on black or white on gray with the opacity turned just a little bit on. Uh, game mode normal. I don't know if there's other types, but we'll stick with normal. I want to do as vanilla an experience as possible. I want to know what the devs want us to experience. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But let's look at these scenarios. We have basic platform. Your crew of four have left Earth behind and stars await you. First, though, you'll need to build a ship. You have a basic platform and some essential supplies, but you'll need to build everything yourself. Play this scenario to learn the basic game mechanics. All right, that's probably what we're going to be doing so that we can learn the basic game mechanics. But what's this other one? Let's check it out. The mining station was abandoned at the height of the crisis on Earth and has now been repurposed as a shipyard. Use its facilities to build your ship from scratch and strike out into the unknown. Into the unknown. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Adina Menzel, I am not. Play this scenario. I can almost sing higher than her, though. Let's be frank. She's got a beautiful voice, but she doesn't like the high notes. Play this scenario if you want more freedom to build a truly customized spaceship. Note, it is not recommended to play this scenario as a first playthrough. So, yeah, we're going to do a basic platform because we don't know what we're doing. And let's change this to our normal eponymous. Um, I started right. Eponymous. Oh, my goodness. Gamer Pile. Gamer pile. Okay, let's go next. Because right, I don't think I can select those. Nope. Okie dokie. Um, well, I, I, I personally normally like to build on peaceful. I like peaceful because it allows me to, to build and, and I don't have to worry about being attacked until I'm ready and then I change it later. But I want this to be at least a little bit interesting for you without being impossible for me being a very first timer. So let's set it to medium. Oh, look at Oh, they must change. Oh, yeah, it does change. Okay, so medium, we have these resources. What do we have here? Vegetables, fruits, I guess. Uh, Hyperfuel. We will have, what are these? Soft block. Building component used to assemble furniture. All right. Uh, infra block. Simple facilities. Energy block. High tech facilities. Artificial meat. Oh, wow. Why is it always artificial meat in the future? Why can't we still have normal, real, actual meat? Sigh. Tech block, assembling ship facilities, energy cells, medicine, what's this, IV fluid, tribbles, I mean fibers, uh, hull block, builds multiple tiles, single block builds, well that's good, we're going to need to expand our ship, This so we are going to be building a ship as we are in space, which is kind of exciting. Uh, what else do we have here, we have energy rods used to power, by power generators to power the ship, water, Space food and fertilizer. A couple of guns here. Okay, let's look at this. What do we have? A shotgun, smoothbore, spherical pellets, devastating at close range. All right, good to know. Um, and a 5.7 pistol. All right, a lightweight polymer-based 57 caliber pistol designed for use as a sidearm. So here's what's interesting about this to me. I only know of one firearm that has a 50, 57 caliber. Uh, now... Civil War era rifles had a 58 caliber, I believe, if I remember correctly. Like these would be the Springfield and the Enfield rifles that we most associate with uh, Civil War. 57 caliber. That's that's a big that's a big bore. It's more than half an inch because .50 would be half an inch. So you're you're getting hit by a bullet that is you know the width of your thumbnail. Um, but the only one that I know of is actually called the 57 pistol. It doesn't look anything like this graphic. But it is made by Fabric Nationale, and it is actually a pretty smart-looking pistol, as far as pistols can be smart-looking. Um, yeah, so, but that's interesting. So, oh, there's three of those. So we have three pistols and a shotgun. And that's good, because we have four, four different colonists or astronauts or whatever we want, a crew, crew. So that's probably good. Okay, what do we have? Start sector. What does this mean? Derelict, innovated, and shipped. Salvaged, but not claimed. 
asteroid carbon. Oh, these must be the things that are in our start sector. Oh, wow, there are multiple sectors. Oh, that's so cool. I love the idea of expanding. I, like, I'm, a bi I'm big into strategy games. Uh, one of my all-time favorite games that I've ever played in my life is called Galactic Civilizations. I played the third one, love that the most. I have four as well. I uh, never really got into it because I just like the gameplay of three so much. But that also you can expand and eventually dominate the galaxy. And if you can do that in this, I'm going to be very excited. So, okay, so carbon. What's this one? Ice asteroid, noble metals asteroid, god, pl gold, platinum, and iridium. Okay, so that must be for wealth and base metals, iron. So that must be for building. Got it. Rules, sandbox mode. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what that means, but I don't know. I don't want to change it if this is what they're having us start with. Asteroid rules. Oh, so these tells, tell us how many of each of these types of asteroids will populate the different sectors, I guess. Hazards. Very common aliens. Ooh, ooh, solar player. So all of these, these are the new ones with build nine of the alpha. So these are all medium, except for solar heat is normal. Derelict ships, medium. Derelict resource amount, normal. Claimable ship presence, so that you... Oh, wow, you can actually claim some ships, so it'd be rare. And then there is a pirate coalition, start relationship, hostile. Awesome! Uh, oh, this must be our seed. How many numbers are in there? Maybe I just want to do straight up numerical order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're going to just do straight up. Oh, I can. I can change it. That's great. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Let's start there. And that'll be our seed. That'll be nice and easy in case any of you want to play along with me. You can just put in the numbers. Okay. I bought this game, by the way, on sale on GOG.com, good old games. They are a great resource. I use them a lot um, in, com in competition, I suppose, with Steam. But they do have some great things as well. And I like them specifically because they uh, they often run great sales like this. I've gotten a lot of free games from them as well. And they have a lot of the classic games. So like your Diablos or your Wolfensteins and stuff like that. And I like that too about them. Okay, let's check out our, our people here. So we've got uh, Baldi, Christian, who is a florist. That seems remarkably unnecessary if I'm trying to serve well well then again I need someone to tend to the plants we have attributes we have these must be skills as related to actual work piloting mining botany construction can I change those I guess not traits revealed after the apocalypse hard working well I like that oh that must boost the yeah that boosts the working speed Perception. Okay, so it looks like the attributes go up, up to six on all of them, it seems. That's the highest. Uh, this is our bartender. Also, not, sorry, not really something I would expect ne to be necessary. But we have Zest. <laughs> I, I would like to know what Zest does, other than provide a very tasty bit to a, uh, to a topping for cooking your fish. Ozzy is our nurse. Hey, wait. It's the same guy. All three of these guys are the same guy. Can I change them? How do I change them? Maybe I click that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That changes them. Cindy is our driller. Our driller. We have a doctor. Let's change the bartender. We've got a lawyer. That's not much better. Augustina. Elaine. I See, I see my piloting skill has gone way down. So I'd like to find someone... Matthew's a bartender. Someone who's got... Oh, she's a, she's a good pilot. We'll go with Esperanza. I've always thought that name was pretty anyway. So Christian, Esperanza, Cindy, and Theophilus. Who I may change because if we've got a nerd... Well, she's going to be our pilot, I guess. So he can be our doctor. I wish I had someone who was good at fighting. Do we have gunner three? So it looks like three is as high as they go to. So we have two gunners, but she's going to be piloting, so she can't gun. Uh, shielding, operations, weapons. Oh, okay, weapons of three. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be good. So if he's got a weapons of three and operations is also three, I'm going to go ahead and change him to a red shirt because he's engineering, right? Engineering and security, we'll do that. Doctor will keep you at blue, but let's change you to a more... I'm going to just... I'm feeling Star Trek-y right now. So let's change you to a more Star Trek-y blue. 
Um, and then our driller. Yeah, you can stay with green. Green is uh, green's all right. That'll I'll know that you're driller. I don't know what she's gonna be doing. She's peace loving. That's a problem. Working speeds more. Oh, learning and surrender. What's surrender? Uh, loves peace and tries to promote it, and everything they do will be more negatively affected by conflicts than others. I don't know if I want to keep her, but uh, yeah, why not? We'll just go with it. And our pilot gets a special color because she's the pilot. She'll be purple. Awesome. We got to change those pants colors, girl, though. Let's go ahead with... Oh, that's much better. Much better. I like that. I like that. Can we just do straight up black for pants? That might be... A... That's a little bit better. Okay. All right, we'll go with that. That's cool. Cool. I think we're all set. Let's get let's get started. The power grid is weak around industry facilities. It might cause them to produce resources slower. Build power capacitors near them to ensure sufficient power. Power capacitors near industry facilities. So these are terms that I don't understand quite fully yet. Industry facilities. So maybe like these are things that make those little blocks, like the tech block and the soft block. Maybe that's what industry facilities are. Produce resources. So build power capacitors near them. So we have a power grid, so we'll have to balance that. And okay, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, we're going to pause it real quick. Okay, so this must be our little platform here. Ooh, I like the effect of the music. That was cool. That sound. I dug that. That was all right. Well done, game. Well done. Bug bite. Okay, hello, Spacefarer, and welcome to Space Haven. Follow the upcoming blue objective notifications. That must be as opposed to yellow and red. To be guided through all the basic steps of assembling a working ship, your crew will follow a schedule, and the icon above their head will tell you whether they are currently working, sleeping, or taking some free time to look after themselves. All three are necessary, so let them work at their own pace and you will soon see your ship come to life. If you find yourself struggling with resources at first, don't be afraid to start a new game and modify your starting resources via the game customization menu, difficulty selection menu, to fit your play style. A sandbox mode is also available. Well, that's exciting. Okay, auto open new objectives. Yes, we want to do that. So, let's take a look around at the HUD here first. It's clean. I mean, I don't know what anything does quite yet, but it is, it's clean. Um, we can zoom in and out. Oh, we zoom way out. What do we have? What do we have here? Asteroid, carbon asteroid, ice asteroid. Oh, these are the asteroids that they were talking about in the, uh, in the opening, the game description. What's this? The derelict sh ship then? The MAS Wander, Wandor. We are on the HSS Callisto. Cool. All right. So we have... What do we have here? Can we do that? Okay, th third button and middle mouse button. So the mouse wheel and the right button uh, allow you to click and drag. Uh, I'm not getting any scroll with the mouse like I thought I was going to, but let's do this. Okay, so yeah, WASD does also scroll around. Okay, these must be nodes that you can attach to. And then this is all, oh cool, it's got the little fog of war thing happening. I like that too. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but we're going to go check it out eventually. And then back here, these must be like our zones. Awesome. Okay, so that's the main HUD. Uh, let's take a look around the screen now. I see our missions over here on the right, or at least our warnings and missions, our, whatever we need as heads up. Uh, our crews at the top, if I select one of them, I can check all their skills, status. Okay, conditions, wait. Oh, okay, comfort, energy, conditions. Awake, work, wearing spacesuit. Well, that's interesting. So they can actually equip things, but I don't know what they all do yet. So hopefully the game will introduce that as we go. Okay, can I click part? Okay, so clicking off screen does actually uh, take those out. Uh, these must be the resources we currently have. Can I do this? Fleet. Fleet? You can have a fleet? Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> that rhymed. All right, then we have uh, some, these must be buttons at the top. Okay, so these buttons at the top seem to have some kind of um, quick menu or something like that, quick launch menu. So we have we have view star map. Oh, oh, look at this. This must be, I wonder if this is my zone, if that's what that means. Oh, it's dynamic, it moves. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, 
starts oh wow oh wow this is huge this is this is really cool okay so these are different locations inside this one solar system this is a separate solar system i i see that i can go from here to here but i why can't that's as close as that is i wish i could just jump straight across okay that's neat and then what do we have here crew management Navigate, gunner, shield operations, medical body. So these are different jobs one can have. Um, you can adjust this, the priority. Okay, right and left mouse buttons adjust the priority. And then these dots must be the skill level they have in that. These must be ship related. And these must be uh, like systems related, I should say. And these must be on or in daily life related <laughs> I English okay few systems we have no systems apparently prepare hyper jump um, what do we have here that's crew crafts and hangar oh we already have three crafts mass and hyper jump zero workers occupy a console full-time oh wow and then forced until exhaustion ignore their leisure and sleep activities Okay, so you can set priorities. So when we have people attack us, we can go and do forest turrets. Well, that's cool. That That's like a global command. You don't have to send individuals to their spots. And what do we have here? Attack systems. We don't have to worry about that quite yet. This is the tactical map. That just zooms us all the way out. And what do we have here? I should have checked that before I clicked it. Data logs. The apocalypse. Oh. Oh, cool. So this is a data log. Okay, I'm going to read through this real quick. And this may actually be... Oh, no, I have to check out the bottom right. But then I think that's going to be it. We're going to save the gameplay for episode number two. It's because I want to have a nice... Like, I want to spend some time exploring the actual game. And it takes so much time to load up a game. Uh, so I think we're going to hold off on that. So here here we go. This should set the stage. We'll come... Uh, I'm going to do this. We're going to come back to that. Uh, let's go ahead to uh, the bottom right. So build. Okay. Oh, look at all these things you can build. Spacesuit door, X1 door, X1 wall. I don't know if that means times one or if it's like the model number. It's the X1, like the T70 X wing. Uh, arcade machine, jukebox. Oh, cool. So you got some oh, a toilet. Oh, that's fantastic. That, that makes me so happy. Everybody's got to go to the bathroom, even if you're in space. Uh, bunk beds, chairs, tables, couches. Life support. So, oh, thermal regulator, wall thermal regulator. So I guess that saves space by having it be in the wall. Air vent, gas scrubber, oxygen generator. I'm going to say those are important. Power capacity node. Wait, was this the thing that they were talking about uh, for power node? Power node. Oh, wait, that's what that is, isn't it? We'll look through that real quick. Wall power node, in floor power node. Oh, that's cool. Oh, awesome. Resource. Microweaver assembler. So these are our factories, basically. And food. <laughs> Why is autopsy table in food? Human meat. Oh, boy. Body of a dead monster produces three monster meat. <laughs> oh, I hope we never get to that point. But I guess it's better... Better to have it than not, right? <laughs> Ask the Donners. Large storage, small storage. So let me click. Oh, okay, so you can place it right on the map. Airlocks and systems. Consoles, hull, hyperdrive, shield, energy turret. So can you put that on the... No? You... Huh, okay. Well, anyway, nice. What's this here? Toggle roof view and adjust wall view. Oh, look at that. So this is kind of like The Sims, where you can adjust the height of the walls. Uh, what do we have here? So here I can see the full ship. Oh, with the roof. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that actually is very <laughs> unesthetic. But what do you need aesthetics for when you're in space? There's, there's no air resistance. So you can just fly through with a big old box. And it's just as efficient, and probably more so structurally, than flying around in a pretty looking ship with with struts and pylons and nacelles. And what do we have here? View modes. 
power. Oh, oh, look at all this. So we can see where air, carbon dioxide is getting high, hazardous smoke, comfort, uh, temperature. What's this one? Available jobs, okay. Isolated areas. This view shows possible isolated areas. Each area has its own corridor. Vents and water vapor. I guess you don't want that on a ship, huh? But you also don't want it to be too dry because static electricity. And then power. So I can see that we have a, some power here, but this all is not on the grid. So how do we do... Well, we'll wait for the game to tell us how to do that. We start off by by just starting off, I guess. So we're going to do that next time. I'll tell you what, that's going to be it, everybody, for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to press like and subscribe and ding that bell for future content alerts. And leave a comment below, please. I'm going to play through this game so that you don't have to, and then you can decide for yourself whether it's something you would like. And if you do want to, check out other similar games that I have on my channel. I have both RimWorld and Stardew Valley making our way through. I would love to see you there. So, without any further ado, until next time, my pylons, stay safe and be well.